Hey Libra, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading, guys. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out other placements. Hmm. Okay, so Libra, uh, as long as I see here, there is someone that you have a lot of love for. Okay, there is someone that you have a lot of love for. You almost feel this is like a divine connection. All right. You feel this is someone that you are spiritually connected to. Okay. This could be a connection where either you are married to this person. If you're not married to this person, you want to marry this person. But yes, you do have <clears throat> that emotional attachment to this person is what I'm getting here. Now, keep in mind, the energies can be reversed. All right. So this could definitely be your person and uh, you can switch the energies on the other side. So there is this connection that you have with someone. It's a very strong soul tie connection, a very strong soulmate connection that I'm seeing here. Okay. And at the same time here, you probably even feel like this is the one you want to be with. This is the one you want to marry. I feel that you are secretly manifesting this person out here. Okay. With the magician, you're in the page of swords. So there could be a connection here where, which kind of ended here. Okay. There could be a relationship which ended here, although the love is still there on both the sides. But one person out here is trying to manifest this connection here. Okay. Trying to manifest a new beginning here. Trying to manifest a new opportunity here. However, I don't feel this person here who feels so much love here. Could be you, could be the person you're dealing with. Okay. I feel this person here probably does have a lot of love for you and they know that you both make an amazing pair this person even is thinking of wanting to have something uh, of higher levels of commitment with you they are manifest they are manifesting a new beginning with you here however i feel right now they would like to message you but things are on hold here i feel this person here is watching you from a distance okay i think they're watching you from a distance but it, it, it's a it's coming from a point where they feel that something is very impossible for them to achieve there is so much love here that is uh, that feeling of wanting to be with someone, okay, that longing to be with someone that they're spiritually, emotionally connected to, okay. And even though they're manifesting a new beginning with you right now, they would still feel, uh, they, they feel more safer watching you from a distance rather than coming towards you and approaching you, uh, wanting to make this connection work out. I do feel that this person out here, no matter how much uh, they love you, okay, and how badly they want this connection to work out, they're still coming from a place of fear, okay. They're stuck in their head, okay, and they have too many mental blocks is what I'm getting. Their negative thoughts, okay, are all fear-based. First of all, their negative thoughts. So that's a negative thinker here. All the things that they're thinking about, they're all fear-based, okay. So none of this is, has anything to do with faith. None of this has anything to do with the reality. So they're coming in their own way. Although they would want all this with you, okay, they're still coming in their own way here. Even if the love is there, even if they want. For some of you, you could even be married to this person is what I'm getting here, okay. You could even be married to this person out here. But, um, so yeah. If you're not married to this person, this person wants to get married to you, okay? They see you as a uh, uh, wifey material and the love is also there and they're manifesting this. But the problem here is maybe they feel the need to do a little more research. You know, sometimes some people have very strong feelings for you, okay? But um, after a breakup or a separation, right, when things go wrong, uh, people would want to just watch you from a distance because they just feel safe. They feel secure, okay? Or they would always keep doubting themselves that do I have enough? Or uh, will I be able to provide enough or will I be able to make the situation right this time around? So I feel this person here would rather watch you from a distance, love you from a distance than to come approach towards you. Which is why look with the magician here, they're silently manifesting you, right? That's not literal action. That is just manifesting, like being very, very positive, you know, like hoping, wishing, praying that things will be all right and you guys can get into a commitment. But again, their negative thoughts is kind of keeping them away from you, okay? They probably have a lot of doubt how something's going to work out between you both here okay so yeah for them something looks doubtful out here they're doubting themselves but they're coming in their own way okay feeling very helpless so they probably kind of see a lot of challenges here in this relationship even if they want to marry you it is there in their intentions and in their feelings out here but it's like you know all i can do is have positive affirmations and hopefully things will work out between you and them you on the other hand here i do feel that you have a lot of love for this person here okay See, because you have so much love for this person, right? This person, that's why the two of, came, two of cups came in their emotions or in their energies because they know that you love them as much as they love you. Whether you guys have broken up, whether you guys have separated, okay? So it's not over as yet. If you think it's over, it's not. 
I do feel that you have reached a point where you are now so emotionally mature. You've learned to control your feelings. Okay, I do feel that you are at the end of um, a chapter where you are in two minds about what you want to do about this connection. Would you want to give this connection away? Would you want to give up? Or you just have to make a choice between two people here. What do you want to do? So either there's a choice between two people, okay, and you're juggling, going back and forth. Or there is a decision that you need to make about what you want to do about this because the love is still there. The love is still there. It's deep. But you just choose to keep quiet and you choose to bury those feelings here because you just feel it's more mature. You just think it's more sensible and wise to hold back those emotions and keep them buried within you and have a very balanced approach out here. It's like you've reached a point where now you can, you're no longer emotionally overwhelmed with this person out here, okay? It's like you're trying to have a very peaceful and moderate approach towards this person here when it comes to your emotions. Uh, I do feel that uh, for a few of you, I do feel that you could be trying to explore your options. Libra, I feel for a lot of you, you could be exploring your options. You could be getting out, you could be dating, you could be chilling, you could be... Uh, you know, just putting yourself out there, okay? Not in a very romantic way, but yes, you could be trying to see other people here in order to move away from this person. I feel, Libra, a lot of you are trying to walk away from this person, trying to get away from this person here because you are, again, like I said, in two minds, right? You're not sure. You're trying to weigh out your pros and cons, trying to see what's the best decision for you. So I feel for a lot of you, you could be um, having a good time out here, okay? Or... Some of you even want a reconciliation here. You probably, you both probably want the same thing out here. But there is this energy coming from you where, you know what I'm getting? Um, I want this person, but there has been so much damage out here that I'm too scared to be emotionally attached to this person again. This person knows that they love you. This person knows that you love them. But they don't have enough courage to take that step out here because they're too fearful, right? Their, uh, their uh, fears are running the show right now. You, on the other hand here, even if you're chilling with other people here, there is still this lack of discontentment here. Either you have too many options around you, but you're not considering any options, okay, because you're just not interested out here, or you are just emotionally very disappointed, okay? Even if you may put yourself out there, even if you may get out, even if you, you know, you could party all day, or you could just be out there, you know, trying to be new people, there is still this sense of emotional disappointment here. Why? Because you're still holding on to that person who you still want. You do feel rejected by them because this person probably rejected your offer in the past here. But yeah, there is a sense of where you could even want to reach out, okay? I feel you're still holding on to this connection here. I feel overall you may want to speak to this person, Libra, Maybe you want to reach out to this person out here, but you're um, choosing not to, okay? You're probably choosing not to because you're holding off. You're staying closed off. <clears throat> A lot of you could be probably blocking your heart chakra also, okay? Where there is this trust issue. All this while you kind of open up your heart, but now you feel the need to just be a closed book, okay? There are trust issues here. Let's see the outcome here. Wow. So we have the Six of Wands and the King of Wands as the outcome. I feel someone out here is going to take action. I feel this person out here, they will eventually get out of their head and they will take action towards you because this person here probably wants forward movement with you. They want success with you. So whoever you're dealing with, right, this person out here is zoned in on you. There is no one else that they have in heart or have in mind out here. They will take action. This is a very masculine energy with the King of Wands here. This is someone who gets up and gets things done. So I feel this person does want success. This person does want victory with you. Uh, all this while maybe they uh, had overinflated egos or there were just egos between you both here. And uh, this person here was kind of doubting themselves. Okay, they were second guessing themselves. They had a lack of confidence out here. They, they, they feel the passion for you, but I don't feel this is more action. There is someone here who wants forward movement with you, okay? They feel like uh, victorious. They want your attention, actually. I should have said that first. This person is coming back around because they want your attention, okay? So you could be dealing with someone here who is dying for your attention. You are not giving them any attention. This person uh, feels undervalued, unappreciated, okay? They feel you don't give a shit to them. But they are coming back around here because they want your attention, Dealing with an attention-seeking hole. Such a few of you. 
that's what a lot of tarot readers say attention seeking whore so yeah but i've had that experience that got with a lot of people who are like that so yeah yeah this person wants your attention and which is why they're probably wanting to come back i do feel up in a lot of you this could be switched where this person out here is going to reach out to you okay i do feel that this person here has a lot of luck and they could also reach out to you there in two minds but eventually they will and probably you're the one who's manifesting this entire relationship watching this person from a distance here you still want this commitment with this person you still feel that there's a strong soulmate connection out here but you know you're in like you're stuck in your head like you don't know what to do should you like move on or should you still stay in this relationship so for a lot of you this could absolutely be vice versa that's what i'm getting okay this could be vice versa but this person is coming back around and they want your attention they don't Okay, so that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Next time. Bye bye. Next time. Bye bye. Next time.